guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about devices in Linux but before that uh, I just want you to remember a phrase about Linux which is in Linux everything is a file and if it's not a file it's a service and it holds completely true for the devices in Linux as well so in Linux most of the devices IO interfaces are presented as text files so you can perform all the file operations you can cat those files and it's not necessary for all the devices but most of the devices so you won't I mean like for block devices or network devices right so there are basically they are basically represented as text files and you can configure them using those text files uh, in Linux uh, or most of the devices are found in a directory called dev directory so it's under the slash root slash file system so let's go to cd slash dev and if i do an ls hyphen lrt over here you can see all those devices which are there i mean in your system right now are listed over here and i want you to focus on the first line basically first character of each line you can see it's written C some at some point it could be written uh, B I'm looking for yeah so block devices so basically let me just clear the screen so B basically stands for block devices and C stands for character devices apart from these two there are a couple of more devices uh, one is pipe or named pipe and there's one more called socket right so these are the major devices which are there and let's do an ls hyphen lrt again right so block devices so block devices mainly consist of your hard disk right so if i do ls hyphen lrt on sta so SDA is basically the hard drive which is associated with this virtual machine. So this is a virtual machine which I'm running and this is the hard disk which is associated with this virtual machine. And block devices because most of the processes fetch data from block devices in chunks uh, or basically blocks. That's why they're called block devices. All right. Character devices are like something which take in, I mean, which basically work with streams. So they take uh, input from stream and they write uh, output to some other stream uh, for example the best example for character device is a printer right so it takes input from your system and prints out on paper right so printer is one good example of character device uh, pipes so pipes are similar to character devices but on the input side they have another process so I mean as we'll work through the Linux, we'll use pipe a lot. Uh, and I've shown you when we were, I was showing you with some basic commands how you use pipe. So if I have to say I cat etc pass wd file and a pipe and grab a user called Tarek. So you can see that this is one process, and I pipe the output or from this particular command to this command so I for that I used a pipe right so this is basically represented as a device in Linux so by device it you it doesn't implies that it's a physical hardware device just FYI all right socket uh, will not discuss about socket uh, in this lecture socket will cover uh, in detail in the upcoming videos but just for introduction you should know that sockets are basically used for inter process communication so we'll understand what is inter process communication but you should know that sockets are basically used for inter process communication that's it now if i do ls hyphen lrt over here you see there are few numbers which are written uh, in the in front of each device right so these are basically major and minor numbers and they are used by kernel to basically identify a device and you would see that device of similar type have the same major number 
if you see this is the TTY device so we'll I will tell you what is the TTY device uh, what is TTY basically uh, or a character uh, or different type like SDA so let's look at NSI-NRT and grip SDA so you can see the disks have the same major number right uh, all right moving on slash dev actually does not give you information about the device uh, I mean the complete information about the device or it just gives you a very simplistic uh, info in, I mean it gives you information in a very simplistic way right uh, to get a uniform view of all the devices with the actual hardware attributes uh, Linux gives us a file system called sysfs so if I just clear my screen and go to slash sys directory and go to see devices directory to an ls so you can see all my devices are over here as well and the this basically has a lot more information compared to the slash dev uh, slash dev uh, devices I mean the information in slash dev is basically used by the processors uh, yeah so I mean the process the process which are running they use slash dev for their reference and if you want to get a complete information you basically use sysfs so let's uh, go to system and see what we have over here let's go to CPU and you can see there's a bunch of information which is there so let's go to CPU 0 and let's see what's there so you can see there's a bunch of information about the CPU CPU what driver it is using crash nodes cache topology and thing like that let's just go back and there are some shortcuts as well in the sysfs so what if i just want to check the block devices so i could just go to cd block and if i do an ls hyphen lrt you can see i have the sda which is basically a link and this is the complete information which is there right so if i go into this directory sda So you can see there's a bunch of information present about your basically hard disk right so for example let's look at the size so this is basically the size and I think it's presented in maybe bytes or kilobytes not sure about that but you can find the information over here right all right moving on probably this is it for this video guys uh, uh, we'll look at the devices uh, in more in depth in the coming upcoming uh, videos and we'll be seeing how you can basically interact with devices using udev so udev is basically a user space program which uh, interacts with the kernel and helps you configure your devices helps you get information uh, from devices so we'll look uh, at udev what is udev and yeah uh, so please subscribe to my channel before leaving uh, so that I can make these videos on daily basis for you and yeah thank you for watching.